hello welcome guys to this new video series uh, in this series uh, i will be uh, adding videos in which i will solve uh, coding assessment uh, related questions uh, in python questions that i receive from you guys over my email stupidbutcurious@yahoo.com or questions that i come across over internet myself right so uh, in this first video i'm going to solve a question uh, titled efficient shipping so let's get into solving the question okay so the question that was uh, that is here is a warehouse manager needs to create a shipment to fill a truck all of the products in the warehouse are in boxes of the same size so whatever products are being made you know kept in that warehouse all will be you know stored in same size of boxes each product is packed in some number of units per box that means the every product is of different size but they will be kept in the similar sized box boxes right so the pro products will be of different size so given the number of boxes the truck can hold determine the maximum number of units of any mix of products that can be shipped at a time so initially when you read this question this may sound a little confusing uh so it is very important to always reread the question and try to understand the question well so that it becomes easier for you and it becomes easier to code as well correct so let's try to understand the question once again so it, this question is talking about a warehouse where we have different kind of products so let's say product a b c d and we are not sure how many products are going to be there right and all these products are stored in different uh, in boxes right so product a will be stored in a box product b will also be stored in a box product c will also be stored in a box and these boxes are of same size right then it says each product is packed in some number of units per box so that means product a can go in some number in the box product b can go in some other number in the box that means their sizes are different so product a will have two units of, uh, of itself uh, pro product uh, you know only two units of product a can be stored in the given box or uh, only five units of product b can be stored in the in the box or maybe if the product is very small so uh, if the if the product c is very small it can be 10 units of uh, product c that can be stored in that same box right so now our job is to given the number of boxes that the truck can hold so the the truck that will go out of this warehouse this truck has a capacity of holding number of boxes right so given that number uh, we will have to determine the correct mix of the products uh, the boxes of the products that if we fill the truck with the we will be able to ship the the manager will be able to ship the maximum number of units right so if you understand the inputs that were given so these are the boxes right so uh, so there are total 3 plus 1 plus 6 that uh, 10 10 boxes but we have given you know we have them separately that means there are three boxes of a particular product let's say a there are one box of product b and there is uh, there are six uh, box of product c right then we have the next input that was given that is given to us is a list of uh, units per product so this is saying product a is is quite a larger size and hence it can only go two units in the box right product b is the smallest size and hence it can go seven units of this product in a in a box and product c is a mid size product and hence it can go four units in a box right so what it simply means is we, for product a which can go two units in a box we have three boxes for product b that can go seven units in a box we have one box and for product c that can go four units in a box we have six box right so if we see total number of units that we have is 3 into 2 6 plus 1 into 7 7 plus 6 into 4 uh, that is 24 right so these are the total number of uh, units that are there now we and the truck that we have can only hold in total six boxes not more than that so if we load the product with all of this boxes then no other product can be shipped because we have uh, in total six boxes of this product right 
so what we should do is we should first load uh, uh, the truck with product b box this one box because the product b will have maximum number of units and that is our objective to load the truck with maximum number of units right so let's start to solve it okay so i already have this uh, skeleton of the function ready uh, in, in in python and we will be using the inputs given to us to solve this we will be writing the codes here for the function to solve this problem okay so let's first create a variable which will hold the collected number of uh, units okay so let's initially it be zero now to be efficiently be able to solve it our objective is to calculate the maximum number of units right so we will be sorting the this list units per box by you know in in the reverse order so in the descending order so that the seven becomes the number one uh, four becomes the number two and two becomes the number three and we will begin with seven because we are going to we need the maximum number of units to be loaded we will begin with the uh, uh, this product b right and then we will go with product c and then if there is still space left in the uh, truck we will go with the product a right but but if we only sort the uh, you know uh, uh, the list uh, on units per box list we will have to loop through each product uh, sorry uh, yeah we will have to loop, loop through this list of units per box right where is our uh, you know uh, constraint is not the number of units that can be loaded in the truck our constraint is the number of boxes that can be loaded in the truck so ideally we should be sorting the number of boxes and we should be sorting the number of boxes by the product uh, that contains in that are contained in the boxes right so actually if i say so uh, three uh, three boxes of product a one box of product b and six boxes of product four we should begin with one box of product v then we should go to six start filling the uh, six boxes of product four and then at last three boxes of product two getting it so what we will be able to we should be doing it to create a proper sorting of is we will marry this boxes of uh, this this two list boxes and the units per box so that then we can sort them in a proper sequence so to marry them what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the zip method in python and what zip method does it it will marry two list and will return you a list of tuple of uh, items in that list so if i marry this box with units per box what i will be getting is a list of tuple and those tuple will have 3 2 the second tuple will have 1 and 7 the four, uh, and the third tuple will have 6 and 4 so let's do that so let's say boxes and then let's say units per box okay and zip method will always return a zip object to make it a list you will have to use the list method of python now if i simply return z just to show you guys and if i run it you will see i'm i'm returned uh, this result so uh, tuple of 3 2 this uh, three boxes of two uh, product a then tuple of 1 7 one box of product b and then tuple of 6 4 six boxes of product 4 now we need to sort this list and we will be sorting it by the number of units that are there for uh, you know in each of these uh, tuples right so to do that we will be using the sort method of list in python right uh, so the the first thing we are going to give is the reverse argument uh, and since you know if i only uh, if i do not specify the reverse equals to true uh, by default its uh, value is uh, false and in that case the item will be sorted in ascending order that means the this will be the first uh, uh, item in, the, in in our list however we want this to be the first item so the uh, items should be sorted in a reverse order in descending order then we will specify the key based on which the sorting will happen right and i hope all of you know the key uh, thing in the key argument in the sorting method of a list in python if not do let me know in the comments i will explain it separately in a video uh, and for key i will use a lambda function and and if you guys have no uh, much idea of lambda you can check over internet or if you want me to create a explanation video i'll do that also okay so lambda x and then i'm going to get one of x 
right so this is my sorting method so this is going to return so if i now run it you will see the list is now sorted so 17 is the first item 64 is the second item and 32 is the third item now let's get into the process of loading the truck so what we are going to do is we are going to loop through uh, the items uh, of this list so the uh, the tuples basically so let's say for tpl in z right and uh, let's let's quickly capture the uh, boxes uh, so boxes will be tuple 0 so the this is the number of boxes that we have 1 6 and 3 and let's also take units that is triple one right now uh, there can be three things so as soon as we begin with the first tuple uh, there can be a uh, number of boxes that are greater than the truck size right so if if imagine if this one of was uh, 10 instead instead of one it was 10 so in that case there are more number of boxes for this product uh, however the truck size is of only six right so for this scenario let's create the if condition so if truck size is less than if the, the space in the truck is less than the boxes that we have for this part first uh, product then what we will do is we will only load the truck with the number of boxes that can go in it and we will calculate the units that were that got loaded and we will just read come out of this method so let's say then the uh, collected units will be equals to collected uh, units itself uh, in case if there are any previous units loaded into it okay, okay let me explain it later so let's say collected units will be equals to truck size multiplied by the uh, units right so truck uh, has a space limit of 6 that will be multiplied by the number of units if uh, the truck size is lesser so if this was 10 then 6 into 7 right will be the number of units that gets loaded and the truck will be full and we will return return collected units we will just come out of the method right here then we can start with if or instead let me do elif that is a better way of doing it so the next scenario could be the truck size is exactly equals to the number of boxes that we have right so maybe if this was six itself instead of one if this was six and the truck size the truck capacity is also of six boxes then what we will do then we will simply say our collected units can be same of truck size and units also or, or we can also say the boxes into units so both ways sorry so let me uh, boxes into units so both way it is going to correct right the third scenario which can be there is so we have covered two scenarios the truck size uh, is of uh, the truck has less space than the available boxes the second scenario is tr the trucks has exactly the same amount of space as the amount of boxes we have and the third is the truck size is greater than the boxes right the third scenario there cannot be any uh, other fourth scenario either it will be the truck size is less or the truck size is equals to the number of boxes or it is going to be greater so the third scenario we don't need to specify lf again here so i'll say in that case the number of units collected uh, will be exactly so since the uh, uh, truck size uh, truck size is bigger here so let's say we in 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 our own scenario so we are looping through this item and we have one box and the truck has uh, capacity of six boxes the truck size is greater than the available number of boxes so in that case we will immediately collect the number of uh, units so we we will load the, the those boxes into the truck so the collected units will become boxes into units and the size of the trucks will get reduced so by the size of the truck getting reduced i mean the available space in the truck will get reduced right so truck size will become truck size minus uh, this boxes so if i have loaded one box 
then the now remaining space in the truck is truck size minus the boxes that is one and the uh, we are only left with the space of five more boxes as simple as that right uh, and and since we are still left with the space in the truck we will continue in the loop and we'll move on to the next item now what will happen you see is let's say in our in our exact scenario if we say our truck gets loaded with this one box of seven unit and we have we are still left with the space in the truck we will it will move on to the uh, loop again and then next time we will have six boxes and number of units it will be four per box so we will say is the truck size less than the boxes this truck size is now five if you remember if the truck size is less than the boxes yes that becomes true here because the number of boxes that we have now is six and the truck size is five so what we will do we will say collected units becomes the truck size the size of the truck that is left space in the truck that is left into number of units per box that we have right so that is four so here we should what we will know is we didn't consider so we are calculating the number of boxes uh, that can go in the truck now and multiplied by the number of units but we are not considering the previously collected units so what we need to do is we should keep on whenever we are doing this calculation we should keep on uh, considering that those previously collected units also right so here also okay so this way if i if i run this method now it will tell me the mix of uh, you know the, the maximum number of units that can be shipped so now if i run it oh uh, in okay okay so i'm sorry it has to be double equals to so if i now run it see number of maximum units that can be loaded in the truck is 27 why because we have these products so we'll i'll first load the truck with this box then i load the uh, truck with five boxes of this product okay so uh, so here we will have seven units and here we will have five into four that is 20 so 20 plus 7 is 27 right now we can do a few more things to improve this code right so the uh, we can reduce the number of lines that are written in this code so always remember the less number of time uh, lines that are written in your code will uh, get executed faster right so at a human level this may not be significant but when you deal with a very large large size of input then it will definitely matter so let's try to reduce the number of lines so instead of capturing these variable making these variables i'll simply say if, if wherever i say boxes i'll say tuple zero okay so let me copy this and re replace all boxes with tuple zero and uh, here also and here also okay and here also and wherever we have we have used units let's call them unit one a, a tuple of one so uh, collected units okay here here and here and with this way we will be able to eliminate the need of these two line at least okay some people may also think that we could have used this sorting method directly here but do not do that because if you do that it, you will get an error because the sorting method of a list will not return you a new list it is always going to make the sorting in that same existing list right so whenever you are using z equals to and then creating a list you cannot use the sorting method right there you can use the sorting method once you have the list ready and you can use the sorting on that okay so uh, this is it uh, and uh, i think this is it if i run it i'll still get the number 27 so uh, this is how you write uh, solve this particular problem uh, i hope you guys understood it well uh, and uh, uh, you know if you have not if, if there are still confusions i'll suggest go through it uh, a couple of more times when you go through uh, a, a particular thing a couple of times things become more clearer and clearer and ultimately you get the entire understanding of the product but this is how this question should be solved uh, so that's it for this video uh, guys thank you so much for watching it uh, have a good day bye